we're making rhubarb jam. Now I made a little batch of this up before just wondering if it'd be any good and it turns out it is A1. Really good stuff, particularly if you're having it with a bit of cheese. It's like not a, it's a very tart jam. So first thing we've got to do is pick some of our rhubarb. So it seems to be going okay in here. I'm going to give it a bit of a, a twist and a pull. We need a kilo of rhubarb for every uh, kilo of sugar. We're going to reduce that just a fraction. But this is really nice red rhubarb. I'll put up there which type it is because it's written down, but I can't remember in what order they are. Now we're picking the rhubarb from the outside, leaving some of the thin ones on there. All right, let's leave the rest on there. We'll go to the next rhubarb plant. We're leaving plenty of the small branches on there. We might not pick these ones because they're a bit small. No, oh, no, this one's not. This is another variety of rhubarb. I think it was a cherry red down this end. And we've got one more lot to pick. So we'll grab that one too. Okay, this is the either Victoria or Gascons, I can't remember. Grown from seed. And it's a green rhubarb. So if we look at the stems on this one. They're green. Tastes the same way. We did a taste test of all the different rhubarb, so if you want to see that, I'll put a link to it. Which side does it come up on? There? I can't remember. You can never get it right. I'll put a link to it up there. So I think this is probably enough rhubarb for us. We'll check one more plant. Oh, I think that's more than a kilo somehow. So this is another one of the seed growing oh, rhubarbs. And I'm pretty sure it's Victoria. So I'll just pick a few of them leave some big leaves on there to let it grow and that's it let's cut it all up weigh it and get the rhubarb cooking well we've picked our rhubarb so the next step on our jam making journey is to get these leaves off because you can't eat them full of oleic acid i'll look up how to actually pronounce that and say it and uh, so not really poisonous but not good to eat make you a little bit sick so all we need to do Chop it off. This is a lot of rhubarb. I'm going to look up the price of rhubarb from the supermarket because it's really, really expensive. I'm on a bucket of rhubarb. Let's get these leaves into the compost because they're really good for that. Okay, I zeroed the scale and we have 3.33. Three and one third kilos. Once we've cleaned it up. So now we've got to slice it dice it and get it cooking. So I've given them a bit of a wash. They don't need too much because I don't use any chemicals. So there's nothing dangerous on there, but I gave them a bit of a rinse. So we've got lots of slicing. We just slice it up into cookable pieces. Don't have to be accurate. This end bit We've got to clean up a bit too, but all we do is just behind the leaf bit, and we can just sort of chop that off. Now, we've got three kilos, so normally you would use one kilo per kilo of fruit. I'm going to reduce that because I find it's much nicer, uh, use a bit more pectin, and it seems to come out the right texture, but just cut down the sugar a little bit. So we get some blemishes on this rhubarb, which I've just sort of sliced off. Probably don't need to because it's going to turn into jam, but I thought I'd do it anyway. So here we go. Very full. It's going to cook down a lot. Here's our waste, which isn't waste because our earthworms will love that. Now I need to juice a couple of lemons. Hopefully they're okay. Beautiful. Very juicy. Freshly picked just off the tree. 
There it goes. Now I'm gonna get that on the stove, let it cook down a little bit, then I'll add the sugar so there'll be room. Just gonna add a tiny bit of water to stop it sticking and burning. And we shall let that cook for a bit. That's been boiling away for a while, and as you can probably see, it's reduced down a fair bit. It's no longer at the top. We've got a fair bit of liquid come out of it. So now we're gonna put the first kilo of sugar in, which is all the sugar I've got. I'm waiting for supplies from the shops. That is one kilo of sugar. What do you think? Nice colour, eh? Got another kilo of sugar to go in there at least. Some pectin. And then let it brew for an hour or two. And I'll show you how we test it. All right, we'll add the pectin in. It's quite a bit of this pectin. Let's add the other kilo. So we'll just put in roughly half a packet of this. Right, remembering we've got three and a third kilos of rhubarb. I'll put in two-ish kilos of sugar, so quite a reduction in sugar, 30% less. We'll cook her up for a while, see how it goes. Then we'll give it a test. Okay, we're bringing it to the boil. We're gonna let it boil for 10 minutes or so, skimming the scum off the top. Then we'll put it down to a simmer and we'll test it. Just making sure it doesn't stick at the bottom of the pan or boil over. Isn't that looking good? Beautiful color. We've also got to make sure that the rhubarb breaks up. Uh, we don't want big lumps of raw rhubarb in there, so it's got to simmer probably for a little while as well. I'll get my testing plate ready. And for that, what we do, we get one saucer, we walk over to the freezer and we put it in there. Take our saucer out of the freezer, we're going to test it. So we're going to get a little bit of our jam, stir it up a bit. Let it drip onto the cold plate. So that's been sitting in the freezer for a minute. And we're starting to see it's, I think it's pretty close. Curmudgeon camera person. Yeah. Is this the right texture for jam, do you think? Okay, we're testing again. We put our finger on, we can see it sort of sticks. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Well, 18 and a half jars of rhubarb jam. As I said, this is really good stuff to have with uh, cheese or savory stuff, uh, but you can have it on a sandwich as well. Uh, it happens to be the lady curmudgeon and the curmudgeon camera person's favorites. Thanks for jamming with me. And if you like this, please like the video, subscribe, help us out a little bit with that. Appreciate your company. Catch in the kitchen.